Hello there, and welcome back to episode 8 of Creating Heads in Fusion 360. In this episode, we're going to mirror the face to complete it, and make our last adjustments before entering a 3D environment. Our first step is to line up the control points down the center of the face. I imagine the straighten tool does this, but I've always used the flatten tool. So select the flatten tool, in the drop down menu change the direction to select plane, then select T-spline vertices, and then select all of the vertices at the inner edge of your surface. Alternatively, making sure you aren't currently editing the form, you can double click to select the whole edge, then open the flatten tool, and this will save you time on selecting all the vertices. In case you're wondering, we're doing this so that there are no gaps between our surface and the forthcoming mirrored surface. If you opt to do the same method here as me, you must make sure you select all the points on this edge. By selecting plane in the flatten tool, rotate your orientation so that you can see the XY plane that splits your surface. Select said plane and then select T-spline vertices, making sure you get the rest of the vertices on the surface edge. When you've done this, select OK. Now your surface has a straight edge for us to mirror on. Head up to the Symmetry drop-down menu in the toolbar and choose Mirror Duplicate. Your T-spline body is the surface you have created. The mirror plane is the same as the flattened plane, in this case the XY plane. Make sure the weld box is ticked, I don't adjust weld tolerance, the default should suffice, and click OK. Go back to editing the form, you should have a flat, complete face. Select any random section, line or vertex and move it. Notice how it mirrors the changes as well. This is very handy for the time being, but later as the model progresses, we will eventually turn off the symmetry, since faces are not perfectly symmetrical. We can forget about that for now though. For the rest of this episode, we will proceed at 300% speed since it's all modifications. Tension in the lines in the back of your mind, look at your canvas image and try to follow the features. The cheeks are rounded, so curve the lines over them. Since we are still operating in 2D, think of the lines on the surface like that of a topographic map. The lines are closer together when there is steep elevation. The lines are spaced apart when the land is flat. The nose is the steepest section of elevation, hence the lines are closer together. The cheeks are relatively flat, hence the lines are more spread apart. One little nugget of knowledge that you should be aware of is if you hide the surface you're working on while editing the form, then you show your surface, your progress will be undone. Well, why would we want to do this? Sometimes you'll want to see the canvas without the surface to help you step back and see the bigger changes needed. If you want to look at the canvas without worrying about progress being lost, select OK in the edit form box and then hide your surface, inspect the image, show your surface again and then head back into edit form. Sometimes I make the mistake of hiding and showing the surface while in the edit form space. Regular saves will help minimize any damage. So now we're just going to adjust as we go along, I'm trying to curve the sections around the eyes to follow it, bringing in the edge of the forehead, uh, raising it up, anywhere that just looks like an unnatural curve. Um, we just want to make it more fluid. Remember, it's like tension in those lines. But also remember what I said last week, um, or not last week, last episode. Uh, think of the lines also like copper wire. So if you bend them sort of too far, um, there's a sort of elastic limit. And once you go beyond that, it's quite difficult to sort of unkink a line that you've previously kinked. Um, we're just using the canvas behind as a as a rough guide for now we'll go more in depth but essentially i'm just trying to make every line sort of flow into the next one anywhere where it looks unnatural i'm just going to adjust it and also notice how i've sort of curved the the, the area of the cheeks is sort of like a square but like rounded at the edges well that's because it it's sort of spread out and cheeks are rounded it's a sort of shaping you want to do there eyebrows look all right, they'll need a lot of adjustment, um, but it's looking pretty good. Yeah, bringing the forehead a bit, that needs a bit of adjustment. 
and the nose. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any questions, comment them. Um, yeah. Bye.